Hey everyone, Austin here with Carlson Cards, back again with another really nice PSA reveal. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Stick around until the end. This order is loaded with really nice cards and a ton of really strong grades. So like last week, I'm going to dive in and share the cards, but also probably focus on a topic. And I think this topic today, I just want to talk through my experience with grading with PSA, especially with this $15 service they just had. Some of the learning lessons I have that I hope to implement for next year. Hopefully some of them are helpful for you guys. All right, let's jump right in. So first of all, I'm just going to start. I want to go through my friend Vince's card. So as I've mentioned in prior videos, I have a couple friends that I, you know, I've known a long, long time that I grade their cards for them sometimes when they do get in the end. So Vince had some really sweet ones. He had a Blue Prism Tom Brady here that did hit a nine. Then he had a Kevin De Bruyne on Blue Ice that hit a PSA nine. Next, he had a Christian Yelich Gold Refractor Auto that hit a PSA 10. So this is a nice one, good one for him. I think he bought this off of eBay Raw. There's a nice Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the Green Refractor out of 2018 Tops Chrome. These are numbered at 99. Really big hit here, I think in the couple hundred dollar range. No upcharge, thankfully, which was nice. Uh, this was the $19 service, so there really shouldn't have been. But I've seen uh, crazier things happen, of course. Wes McKinney, Gold Refractor, PSA 9. And then a Tom Brady, Gold Refractor, PSA 9. And then a Weston, another one here, an Orange Refractor. Obviously a great player for the U.S. here. I think these are out of, yeah, 25. And then he did hit a 10 on his last card, which was an Icy Aqua Foil out of 2023 Tops. So cool hit here. I think these are numbered, uh, yeah, out of 399 so yeah, that's that was Vince's cards, and let's dive into some of mine. Um, like I mentioned, I want to touch on a few topics. One of the main ones here is just my, kind of my learning so far with PSA's new grading. So over the last two years now, PSA has kind of hovered at that $19, $20 grading um, throughout the whole year. And there's a couple times, I think twice last year, now once this year, where they dropped that to $15 based on the year or generation of cards. So both times now, last year, if you've been a fan of the channel, you know this. I sent off 500 cards to PSA and did a whole mini series on it and kind of my learnings and lessons. I'll actually pin that video here. Um, if you want to take a look at that video, really helpful if you want to watch it after this one. Um, but from that, you know, kind of experience and doing really well with that order, I actually went crazy this year. I had saved up probably close to 2,000 cards, which again, you're going to think I'm insane. But yeah, I saved up 2,000 cards. Um, these are ones that range in value really from probably a couple bucks to maybe 10 or 20. Um, so I'm not talking like insane amount of cards or insane dollar amount of cards. These are low end cards that really fit well for the $15 service. Um, so like I mentioned the last month, I sent off a ton of orders that, you know, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some of them. I can't promise I'll do a reveal for everything. It's just too much. And I have to, you know, take the time to list everything. Um, but what I want to get at here is my learning lesson from all of this is that um, I think it really pays to continue to send throughout the last year. Um, it doesn't doesn't pay to just sit and wait for $15, wait a year or six months, right? I think you need to be grading um, and moving cards to really get into more of them. Like I always mention, right? If I'm doing this to grade cards to ultimately sell and then put in my collection, um, sorry, put that money back into my collection and buying bigger cards, I need to be doing that the whole year. I can't just wait for one big special and then toss them. I mean, I think you can, but... It's not really the most optimum, I don't think. So what I'm getting at here is I think for the next year, from here until next July, with the thought process that PSA is probably going to drop another $15 special or grading may drop during this entire time period before then, I'm going to be sending off orders at the $19 service, but saving up anything that I just don't think can quite get a 10, but maybe has a shot at it, or is just in a lower tier range. So if it's cards that as a 10 are really going to be $30, $40, $50, I don't know that I need to be sending them at $19 or $20 anymore. I think I'm going to be patient and wait for that $15. So what that means is, right, I'll be saving up, you know, maybe if I start buying cards in a couple months, I will be saving up for a while. But I think that $4 price difference is a huge deal on the grading. Because if you grade at $20 or $19 and you're getting $30 or $40 for a 10, which is how the market is on some of these cards, you're not going to be doing too well, but if you're paying $15 for grading, like a card like this Mahomes, and maybe a bad example here, maybe this a little better. If I get $50 for this and I graded for $15 and I bought it for like $5, you are now at least doubling your money on $10, which is a necessity if you're going to be doing this to, um, again, increase your funds to grow your collection. That's what you need. You need to be able to make money. Otherwise, there's no point in grading. Um, so point being here, again, that $5 difference on cost for grading is a huge deal, and it really opens you up to a lot of different type of cards. Um, so it's something I really need to grow this next year, and you know maybe this hits home for you guys. I think I really need to step into more of the $20 to $100 range for cards. Yes, these kind of cards are great, but as you've seen, a lot of them are in the $5 to $10 range. They're really not expensive cards that I'm buying 
right? Like a Mahomes field level is great, right? You can probably get 50, $60 for this. Somebody wants these at, you know, on eBay or at a card show. Um, what I was getting at is these 20 to hundred dollar cards. That's where you really get the variety and really neat stuff, especially, you know, like obviously if you see my channel, what I do is kind of this two thousands, um, you know, for football, basketball, a little bit of baseball, uh, just stuff that hasn't been graded a ton. Granted, I'm showing some modern Mahomes. It just happens to be what was in this order. Um, you know, like Brady tops insert, like nothing fancy, but it's just stuff that, I mean, it was really neat. But if I can step into the 20 to to $100 range, right, maybe this turns into a 2008 Topps Chrome Refractor Tom Brady or something like that, which I used to do a lot of. But with the way prices are now, it's been hard to find raw cards that are gradable at an affordable price. I'm sure you guys have ran into that, especially for more expensive cards. Um, but I think I just really need to explore this a little more. Or in general, you know, my, part of it might be just increase the creativity, right? Like I have a Miggy Prism Green here. Nothing fancy. It's not licensed, you know, but still there's none of these online, right? I, and I don't know, you maybe take the, maybe I take this logic and apply to other sports and start looking at soccer, start looking at hockey, look at basketball, just to really keep offering an eBay store for myself that, you know, gives people options in the under $100 price point. That's always been my goal because um, like I mentioned in prior videos, there's a lot of cards that are awesome and they're over $500 that most people don't reach. That's not for them. That's not what they're going to be picking up. But if I can run a store that offers, you know, a little bit of every sport of every star at reasonable price points that they can combine shipping, buy multiple cards, send offers on, that's really been my goal. And I've been able to grow it pretty substantially in the last two years, which I'm really proud of. Um, and, you know, again, like I said, there's learning lessons along the way. There's mistakes I've made, um, definitely. But I think the one key here, I'll tie back to the grading. I'm going to try to be smarter about being patient with this. So, yes, like I said, I will be grading at $19. But I think it's really critical to start setting piles aside. And I'd urge maybe you guys to consider it as well because it's just been two years now where I happen to have a ton of cards saved up. And I'm really glad I saved them up because, again, you just get such a better price point. It opens up your doors to a lot of different cards you can be grading, which is really, really nice. Nice Justin Jefferson here, orange. Um, one other point, I guess, a quick note that came to mind by looking at this. Again, you've seen this order is a lot more modern stuff than I typically do on this channel. Um, and part of that is I really want to widen out a bit. Yes, I've done a lot of 2000s, which are great, but they're slow sellers, right? There's not, everyone's not looking for a Kelvin Johnson or a Jim Peterson. I love the player. Doesn't mean everybody is, right? A lot more people, it's just how the hobby is, want a Joe Burrow card. So, you know, am I going to go buy the Prism rookie that's pop 30,000? No, I'm probably not. But maybe select draft picks numbered for five, 10 bucks. A nine is maybe 30, right? I don't make money on this card more than likely. But if I hit a 10, now you're doing pretty well. I think that's probably what I'm going to try to do. And just in general to open it up a bit. Also, how about this PSA 8.5? I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I got to widen out my 8 stack and throw an 8.5 in here. So it's so funny to me that this happened to on like a $5 card. Like so absurd. Like why not just give me an 8? It's kind of crazy. But I don't, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you why it's like an 8.5 versus an 8 or a 9. But that's just kind of funny. That's how it goes. I have a Tiger Woods here. So if you guys enjoyed, I hope my rambling gave you some sort of useful information. Maybe you're thinking similar things. Let me know if you're not, if you have different ideas of what you'll be doing moving forward when it comes to grading. I'd love to hear some insights from you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.